Hi guys, my name is Bill Gemsco and welcome to a new discovery quest that we have available in Sims Free Play. This is the Strange Things in Simtown quest. To complete this quest, you have to be a minimum of level 13 and you have to have completed the Super Toddler Secret Mission quest, which is also a discovery quest. Go onto your town map and if you are able to complete it, you will get this pop-up. This says, new discovery quest available. A disguised individual has appeared in the park and strange lights have been spotted in the sky. What could this mean? Go to the park and find the mysterious figure to begin unravelling this mystery. So you need to head over to the park and have a search around and you will find this icon here. There should be, is there a toddler there? I think there's a toddler, maybe they're in the toilet at the moment. You click on that icon and strange things in Sintown. Strange lights over Sintown, a mysterious toddler with super sim powers and cookies. Intrigue and suspense awaits in this tale of discovery for sims brave and bold. Complete this quest to earn super cute super villain outfits for your toddler sims and a giant outdoor cinema. So if you complete this quest, you will get the villain outfits. If you complete it within the seven day time limit, you will get a giant outdoor cinema. So let's go ahead and click on begin quest. So there we go, there's our seven day time limit. And the first thing that we need to do is to use a telescope. Strange lights have been sighted over Simtown. Your sims are curious, what might they be? Have an adult sim observe the strange lights through a telescope. You can purchase one at the Promotions or Us store. So if you have got one already in your town, obviously just go ahead over to it. If you haven't got one, I will show you what to do. Out on your time map, click on Promotions or Us store. And then you will find in the career section a telescope. Click on that and buy and it will go into your infantry. Then you need to go into a house. And then in your infantry, hobbies and careers, there will be a telescope. I already had one, as you can see, but never mind. We'll place that down. And we will get an adult sim. Click on it and observe strange lights for two minutes. Okay, there we go. We have used a telescope. Now splish, splash in a bath. You're semi surprised to see dazzling lights in the sky, shaped like a giant cookie. How bizarre. No time to think about that, that, that though. It's bath time for your toddler. Have a toddler splish splash in a bath. So you need a toddler for this quest. Hopefully you have one. And if we click on a bath and splish splash for four minutes, I think, yeah, you have to have an adult over here to be able to do this. A toddler won't just go and splish splash in a bath by themselves. We completed splish splashing in a bath. Now we need to pretend to sleep. During the bath, your sim talks about the strange lights in the sky. Your toddler knows exactly what it means. A superhero is in town, but alas, it's time for bed. Have your toddler pretend to sleep in a bed. So where's our toddler gone? And well, there's our toddler. Click on a bed and pretend to sleep for eight hours and 30 minutes. Finished our pretend sleep. Now when you send a toddler to the park, your toddler closes their eyes and pretends to sleep until the adult leaves the room. Those strange lights in the sky are a signal. A superhero needs your toddler's help. Time to spring into action. Send a toddler to the park to find the source of the signal. So head on over to the park. Once you're over at the park, go in the sim tracker and whistle over your toddler. And that will be task complete. Boldly approach the hero. Who is that mysterious figure standing in the park? They are definitely wearing the outfit of a superhero. Have your toddler boldly approach the mysterious figure. Oh, here we go. They are coming over to us. They have an exclamation mark above their head and boldly approach for two minutes. They look kind of similar. They're both dressed in purple. We've finished our bold approach. Now we need to hide behind a bench. Behold, the cloaked figure declares, it is I, Mini Master Force, a thrower of tantrums and a poser of bedtime. Tremble before the might of the most awesome supervillain of all time. A supervillain? Oh no. Have your toddler but hide behind a park bench. You can find one next to the pond in the park. So over here, there's a park bench. And we need to hide behind for four minutes and 30 seconds. Our poor little toddler's scared. We've finished hiding behind the bench. We need to apologize to Minnie Masterforce. Your toddler feels safe, sheltered behind this park bench from the villain's mighty awesomeness. But what's that sound? Mini Master Force is sniffling. Maybe she isn't that scary after all. Have your toddler apologise to Mini Master Force for running away. She shouldn't have scared us, should she? Where is she? 
she's gone. Oh, here she is. She doesn't look like she's sniffling. She looks quite happy to me. Apologise for 10 minutes. We have apologised. Now we need to accept mission. Mini Master Force understands. She explains that she has that effect on a lot of Sims. Being a terrifying supervillain and all, she has summoned your toddler to help in her super secret mission if they dare to accept it. Have a toddler talk to Mini Master Force in the park to accept the mission. Accept mission, 10 hours and 45 minutes. Wow. Need like a little briefing before we start, do we? Or a long briefing, I should say. We've accepted the mission. Now we need to tame the Ducks of Doom. First things first, your toddler must prove they are ready for a super secret mission. Stroking her chin, Mini Master Force gives your toddler their super villainous trial to tame the most wicked creatures known to Simkind. The Ducks of Doom. Have a toddler tame the ducks at the park. So, over here by the bridge, you've got an exclamation mark, so it'll help you out. Click on that and tame the Ducks of Doom for 15 minutes. We have finished taming the Ducks of Doom. Now we need to practice evil laugh. Wow, how fearless. Mini Master Force is super impressed. There's just one final thing to do before they start the mission. Practice their evil laugh. Have a toddler practice their evil laugh with Mini Master Force in the park. So we need to click on Mini Master Force and practice evil laugh for 14 hours and 45 minutes. That is one long practice. We've finished practicing our laugh. Now we need to ask about the mission. Perfect. That laugh is sure to send shivers down the spines of Sims everywhere. Your toddler is finally ready for their mission. Have a toddler ask Mini Master Force about their mission in the park. Let's click on Mini Master Force again and ask about the mission for five minutes. We have finished that. Now we need to sneak back home. Mini Master Force explains that she has heard rumours of something called school. No doubt this is some scheme concocted by the parent overlords to destroy playtime. Your toddler must help investigate and thwart this threat. It's not far wrong, to be honest, is it? Send a toddler to a home lot to begin their investigation. So let's send toddler home. So once we have sent them home, that is task completed. Sneak back home. We need to consult Teddy Bear. Your toddler knows exactly how to start their mission with their trusted associate and dear friend, Teddy Bear. Have a toddler consult their Teddy Bear associate over some tea. Hint, tea sets can be purchased from the toddler tab of the home store or in the children's store. So we need to buy a tea set. So if you go into your toddler section, there is a sale on at the moment of all the toddler stuff. So there are three different ones. You can buy one for simoleons and then two for LPs. Obviously the more expensive one is, well it's supposed to be six LPs, but at the moment it's four LPs and that is a three star. So that's gonna be the quickest way of doing this. So I'm gonna buy the most expensive one, four LPs, but you don't have to buy that one, of course. Once you have your tea set, go ahead and click on it and consult Teddy Bear for 8 hours and 30 minutes. We finished consulting the teddy bear, now we need to catch toddler out of bed. Oh no, here comes a member of the parent overlords. Before your toddler can learn anything useful from Teddy, the adult spots them out of bed. With an adult selected, tap on the toddler to catch them out of bed. So we have an adult selected, click on the toddler and... Catch out of bed for one minute. We finished telling off our toddler for being out of bed. Now plot an escape route with Dollhouse. Your toddler is sent back to bed, but not all hope is lost. Mini Master Force appears from the shadows to help your toddler escape their bedtime prison. Have a toddler plot their escape route with a dollhouse. Toddler houses can be purchased from the toddler tab or from the children's store. So the same again like we did with the tea set, go into your toddler section and with this sale on there are three different types of doll's houses. One that you can get with simoleons, which is the cardboard one, and then two, a plastic and a wooden one. The wooden one is the three star, most expensive. That is going to mean that the action should be quicker. I am going to buy the wooden doll's house for LPs. Place that down. And then with our toddler selected, click on the doll's house and plot escape route for 12 hours and 30 minutes. 
We've got an escape route planned. Now we need to return to the park. It's perfect. The parent overlord won't suspect a thing. Now quickly, Mini Master Force cries, we must away to my super villainous lair, the park. Send a toddler to the park. So back over to the park. Once we're at the park, into Sim Tracker and whistle over our Sim. And the next thing we need to do is to decline villainous scheme. Mini Master Force wants to do something truly villainous. Perhaps draw demands all over the living room wall in crayon or use laser beam to shrink Sim down. Your toddler isn't sure that they should upset the adults like that. Have a toddler decline Mini Master Force's villainous scheme. Click on Mini Master Force Hutchinson and decline scheme for 10 minutes. Now we need to send our toddler back home. Mini Master Force looks a little disappointed, but your toddler has a little scheme of their own to cheer her up and it involves cookies. Send a toddler back to a home lot. Mini Master Force will follow along. So again, back into Sim Tracker and send home. Once we are back at home, we need to give toddler a big hug. At home, your adult sims are worried that your toddler has disappeared mysteriously. Again. As your toddler arrives back home, they let out a huge sigh of relief. Have an adult sim give the toddler a big hug. So with a adult selected, click on our toddler sim. Where has our toddler... Whoa, did you see Mini Master Force then? Shoot up into the sky. Adult toddler selected, click on our toddler and big hug is 11 hours and 45 minutes. Oh, so pleased to see them back. We completed our big hug, now we demand peace cookies. Your toddler explains about Mini Master Force and their mission to investigate the mysterious threat of school. Your adult sees they have some explaining of their own to do. They ask, what will it take to make peace? Have a toddler demand peace cookies from an adult sim. So with our toddler selected, click on an adult and peace cookies, 17 hours and 45 minutes. Wow, that's a long time. We've finished our demand for peace cookies. Now we need to bake cookies. Your sim thinks peace cookies sound reasonable enough. In fact, they rather fancy a cookie or two for themselves. Have an adult sim bake cookies using an oven. So with an adult sim selected, click on an oven and baking and cookies take one minute to do. We've finished baking the cookies. Now we need to explain bedtime. Now that an alliance between toddlers and adults has been sealed with peace cookies, it's time to do some explaining. Have an adult sim explain the importance of bedtime to a toddler. So with our adult sim selected, let's find our toddler. We keep losing her, where's she gone? Oh, is she in here? Yeah, here she is. She's sitting like facing the wall, look at her. Bless, she's been really naughty. So click on the toddler and explain bedtime for five minutes. We've explained bedtime to our toddler. Now we need to ask about school. Your sim explains that bedtime ensures all toddlers in Simtown can get a good night's sleep so they have plenty of energy for playing the next day. This makes sense to your toddler. But what about school? Have a toddler sim ask an adult about school. So have our toddler selected and then click on your adult and ask about school is 15 hours and 45 minutes. We have finished asking about school. Now we need to hug Mini Master Force. Your sim explains that school is a place for growing sims to use a superpower called learning. Mini Master Force's eyes are wide with excitement. A superpower? Cool, she exclaims. Her mission is complete, but there's just one last thing to do before she leaves. Have a toddler hug Mini Master Force goodbye. Oh, okay, let's click on and hug goodbye. Oh my goodness, one day and 45 minutes that takes to hug goodbye. Wow. We have finished hugging Mini Master Force and I think, yeah, congratulations. Super, you finished the Strange Things in Simtown quest and have been awarded cute super villain outfits for your toddlers. Find them in any wardrobe. And congratulations, you've earned the amazing outdoor cinema and comfy bean bags. Find them in the outdoor decorations and living room section of your home store. I am looking forward to checking that out. That looks pretty cool. First of all, let's go ahead and check out our toddler outfits. So with the toddler selected, I've gone into a wardrobe and we have seven? No, six. Six toddler supervillain outfits. Now here are the girl outfits. I'm not sure if the girl and boy ones are any different. We'll take a look at that in a second. But let's, oh my goodness, how cute are these? 
Oh, they got a little cape. These are adorable. I love the toddler outfits. I think I like the red one. I think that's my favourite. I'm going to put this girl in the red one and we'll check out the boy ones. I think they're probably the same, but we'll take a look. Here we are in the boy section and yeah, the boys are exactly the same. Let's check out that beanbag prize that we won because that is pretty cool. So in the electronic section, new outdoor cinema. So our first one is free and then 30,000 after that. And then in the living room section, we have these beanbags, four different colours. And again, the first one is free. Let's just place one of each down. There are 750 simoleons after you've placed your first one down. And this is what they look like. Wait, let's, who can use it? So a toddler can't use it. Let's see. It looks like the outdoor cinema is just like a TV. It's got the same options. Will they sit on the, oh yeah, they will. Look at that. That's cool. You can get people to join in. Oh, the toddlers won't sit on the bags. Ah, oh, so there you go. That is pretty cool. I like that. So that is our grand prize that we win if we complete it within the seven days. Let me know down below what you thought of this discovery quest. Do you like the prizes? I'm definitely a fan of the prizes. Definitely this outdoor cinema is a nice little addition to the game. But thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and I will see you guys soon. Bye!